Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. This is the fourth in a series that I am dedicating to the spices concept in scouting. For those who don't know, spices is a framework for all areas of scouting designed to encourage personal development. To quote directly from the Scouts Australia webpage, the key areas of social, physical, intellectual, emotional and spiritual make up the fundamental basis of a person's character. Obviously, this can be tailored to suit each group and section, but the overall aim is to encourage that personal development. Today, we're going to be discussing the intellectual aspect of spices. I think the word intellectual can sometimes come across a bit ambiguous. So according to the Cambridge Dictionary, the word intellectual when used as an adjective means relating to your ability to think and understand things, particularly complicated ideas. How do you incorporate that into the average Reubenite? For this aspect, the intellectual framework is about acquiring new information, incorporating new ideas, showing initiative, being adaptable, and planning and reviewing. Lord Baden-Powell is renowned as an educational innovator for his contribution to the world in the form of the scouting movement. And yet he had a different take on education than most of his generation. In writing Scouting for Boys, he did a lot of research and he read a varied list of resources that were both on intellectual and physical education, as well as linking into his own experiences and his own observations in Africa and India and Britain. There's no denying that the scouting movement originally begun as a way to prepare and train boys for a life in the army. Baden-Powell did his research in writing Scouting for Boys and developing this movement, but he also appears to have had a keen understanding into natural behaviour patterns, which he used to his advantage. He placed a lot of emphasis on loyalty, responsibility, self-sufficiency, initiative and adaptability things he found to be lacking in men who tried to join the army. He took boys out into the wilderness to teach them to fend for themselves. They learnt skills that could be invaluable in emergencies. They learnt teamwork and companionship within their patrols. Baden Powell looked into the social lives and imagination of the children and young people that were his target demographic, and he took note of what would appeal most to them. He deliberately styled the groups so that natural tendencies towards curiosity, exploratory behaviours and mob mentality could be used to influence and teach the traits he wanted to develop. This style of teaching was not considered intellectual, despite the fact that the boys were clearly learning and developing their minds and skills, and even now it differs from traditional education styles. The key reason that scouting has endured is because of this emphasis on a different style of learning. The key to successful education is not so much to teach the pupil as to get him to learn for himself. And that's the education that Baden-Powell encouraged. Montessori schools follow a similar style of teaching, wherein that by encouraging a child in its natural desires, rather than instructing it in what you think it ought to do, you can educate it on a far more solid and far-reaching basis. That isn't to say that Baden-Powell shunned traditional education. Most of his siblings were actually honours students at Oxford University and while he did attempt to go down that way, he decided to go into the military instead. The very idea of badge work encourages the boys to seek out further education, using the badges as a sort of reward system for achieving that. Interestingly, in Rovers, Baden-Powell didn't want to have a badge work scheme. He thought that the reward of achieving a goal was a reward in and of itself. As Rovers, we shouldn't stop learning just because we no longer go to school. It's incredibly beneficial to keep using the mind, even into a later stage of life. Studies have shown a correlation between doing mind games and a decreased risk of Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia. So there's an incentive right there. So, here are some Rovenites relating to the intellectual framework in spices. Learning a new craft. It's actually surprising how difficult some crafts and hobbies can be. Is there a proficient knitter in your crew? Ask them to run a night to teach the basics. Interest building and sharing. 
Learn about specific areas of interest from your crew. Wine making, coffee appreciation, cheerleading or lawn bowls. History. Explore the history and implications of current relevant topics facing our society in a respectful and informative way. Culture. Australia is a multicultural country. Explore the customs and cultures of your fellow rovers in a respectful, informative way. Profession night. Many rovers are studying a higher education or are working full time. Learn more about what your fellow rovers do for a living or are actively learning about. And here are some ideas for nights that involve multiple crews. Book club. If you have a few bookworms in your crew hosting a monthly or biannual book club would encourage everyone to read more and exercise their minds in that way. Choose your favourite genre and start reading. Riddle night. Everyone can bring along a riddle for the rest of the crews to solve. Community events. Some communities will hold events for certain areas of interest, for example a jazz festival. Visit the festival and enjoy the evening. Music night. Maybe you just really want to learn how to play the kazoo. Or maybe your crew wants to start a band and perform for another crew. Go for it! Museum tours. Choose a time to visit an art gallery or a museum. Actually take the tours offered and learn about a new theory or dinosaur or previously undiscovered Picasso painting. If my suggestions aren't your cup of tea, feel free to comment below what you or your crew would choose to do instead. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Hopefully it's given you some ideas on Rover Nights, a little insight into baden Powell's stance on learning and education, and maybe you learnt a thing or two you didn't already know. I'll see you next time and don't forget to be prepared. <laughs>